how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube in 2022. That's what we're gonna go through in today's video. There's a ton we're gonna cover in today's video fairly quickly. We have a whole bunch of videos that go into each one of these steps in much more detail. So check out the links in the description if you wanna delve further in anything that we talk about today. And we recently started a new channel a couple months ago, so we passed the 100 subscriber mark. We're probably a week or so away from getting to 1,000 subscribers, so we have some recent experience that goes into what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Also, if you stick around till the end of this video, I'll let Mr. Beast tell you the two most important factors that YouTube looks at when deciding to promote your video or not. If you wanna grow on YouTube, definitely stick around for that. Step number one, choose an audience for your first five to 10 videos. So here I'm not saying you need to choose your niche and it's stuck in stone forever you need to talk to this specific audience. But the thing is, if you create a bunch of videos, kind of a shotgun approach. So for example, something to do with exercise and eating well, if you created a video about keto versus paleo, a 10 minute yoga routine, training for a marathon, your favorite, workout gear. So when you're starting out, just think of your playlist. So think of your yoga playlist. So you need five or 10 yoga videos before you start talking about other things. You can have a broader channel than just yoga, but you need to start filling out playlists because people want to come back and see something similar. So if you're going to talk about one topic or another, at least for the first five to 10 videos, I would say stay within a narrow area, have your playlist and kind of expand into other areas from there. Step number two, write down 20 plus questions that this ideal audience that you're imagining would be typing into YouTube. Because if you're a beginner starting with zero subscribers, you wanna think about what are the questions that someone has that they would go to YouTube for. Showing up in YouTube search is probably the easiest way to get your first views. The thing is there are three different main channels for getting views on YouTube. So you have YouTube search, you have browse, which is essentially the home tab or the home page of YouTube, and then you have suggested videos. So if you wanted to create a barbecue channel or a cooking channel, maybe your first 10 videos are about barbecue. So you answer the question, how to cook brisket at home. So you can go through a couple of ways to do that. You can create a video answering that specific question. Then another is how to make amazing ribs. And so you kind of fill out your barbecue playlist for your cooking channel. But think of those 20, 30, 40, as many questions you can come up with that that ideal viewer would like to see and just come up with a list right now. Then after you have that list, what you're gonna do is type those phrases into YouTube and see what shows up. So you have your audience, you have your list of questions. We're gonna talk about the videos you're gonna be creating in a second, but before you think about the video creation, I want you to set up your channel properly so that everything is good to go and you put your best foot forward showing that you're a credible channel and people should subscribe to it. So we're gonna talk about the videos you're gonna create with those ideas in a second, but let's move on to step number three, which is setting up your channel. This is really, really important because anyone who views one of your videos and is interested in what you're talking about may want to check out your channel page. And if there's no cover image, there's no playlist, it looks really plain and doesn't look very professional. But if you fill it out well, there's a good chance that that person viewing your channel will watch more of your videos and or subscribe to your channel. The first thing you need to create is a banner. It's a little bit complicated with the dimensions and showing up on a phone and a computer and everything like that, but we do have a tutorial that walks you through step-by-step step how to do that. A couple things you may wanna include is a picture of you, maybe your tagline so people understand what your channel is about, maybe the frequency you plan on publishing, and with that, you're good to go. You have a big piece of real estate pitching your channel. The next thing you wanna add is your profile picture. So it could be a picture of you. People generally like seeing people more than logos of businesses or a logo just in general. So I would recommend having a picture of you, but this doesn't have to be 100% that way. The next thing is the about you section. So you can fill this out and it'll show up in a couple of places. If someone clicks on the about tab of your channel, they can see the description of the channel. Also, if they search for your channel and they will see a short description there. It's just another one of those things, a little bit more detail than maybe the tagline on your banner that, banner that talks about what the channel's about. Then you wanna add links to your social media and or website. So this will show up over top of the banner along the right hand side if you're viewing it on a computer or if you're viewing it on the mobile app, what'll happen is you need to go to the about tab and you can see the links there. But this gives someone the chance to see more of what you do, what's your Instagram or TikTok or Pinterest or whatever social media you create content for. Maybe if you have a lead magnet so people can go sign up for your email list, you'll have 
just another way to show off everything else you do on your channel by adding the links there. Then the next couple of things for your channel don't really come into effect until you start having content. So if you don't have any videos, you could create this now and have it ready. Or as you start creating videos, you could come back and add what we're talking about now. The first of which is a watermark. So the watermark shows up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can have it show up right away on a video or to come up after a few seconds on the channel. What we normally do is have the watermark come up five or 10 or 15 seconds after the video starts. And the watermark, we don't use our logo or something like that. We use a YouTube subscribe button. So the YouTube red says subscribe, really, really clear what this is for. You hover over it and subscribe to the channel. If it's just a logo or something else, people don't understand it don't really know that, hey, you can use this to subscribe to a YouTube channel. The next thing you wanna do is add a channel trailer. So this doesn't have to be you just talking about what the channel's about. What we recommend doing here is adding the video that gets you the most subscribers. So if you already have 50 subscribers on your channel, you can go into your YouTube analytics. We have a whole video that walks you through this and you can see which of your videos have generated the most subscribers for you. Then put that video as your channel trailer. And when someone visits your channel, this video will autoplay in a lot of cases and they'll start watching that video that generates subscribers. Then the last thing to do with your channel once you start having videos is to create playlists and then add those playlists to your channel. It makes your channel look much bigger. It looks like you have a lot more content. If you just leave it how it is automatically, you have an up, or uploads playlist. And so there's three or four videos on screen and that's it. So if you have 20 videos, you're only gonna see four of them. But if you have a couple playlists that have the videos sort a few different ways, your channel is much, much bigger. And there's a ton more videos on screen, increasing the chance that someone sees something they like, clicks on one of your videos, watch more of your content. Again, a bigger chance or a higher chance that they subscribe. Step number four, choose the first three questions you wanna answer from your list previously and start recording those videos. Those videos I want you to publish all within one week. So it may take you a couple of weeks to record and edit those videos and be ready to publish. But the thing is I want you to publish three videos in one week. And the reason for that, if someone watches one of your videos and they click on to view the channel page or you wanna show up as a suggested video, you need to have more than one video. So if you publish one video today, another one in a week or two, another one a week or two after that, then it's really gonna take a month or more before there's actually three videos on your channel. I would rather have you wait and publish those three videos within a week or so. Does it have to be exactly a week? It could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so it would be over five days. It could be 10 days, but you kind of get the idea as quickly as possible. Have a group of videos on your channel so that someone can watch a second and potentially a third video, increasing your chance of subscribing. Step number five, try to publish videos on a weekly basis after the first week. So week two, have another video ready. So if you're gonna publish every Wednesday, see if you can publish every Wednesday for a handful of weeks. If you're able to do this for four, six, eight weeks, there is a really, really high chance if you followed the other steps and the tips I'm gonna give you on how to create great content that people click on and watch that you reach your 100 subs and more within a handful of weeks following these instructions. If you want additional help growing your YouTube channel, we just launched a YouTube course for beginners that'll help you create your channel, record your videos, edit your videos, publish your videos, and grow on YouTube. If you wanna learn more, check out the link in the description below. What, what do you think YouTube wants? Like, to me, I think YouTube just wants people to click on a video and watch it, right? I mean, that's how they get their ad revenue, that's how they keep vi you know viewers happy and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure comments like stuff like that, but at the end of the day, they want you to click, watch the video, click, watch a video, and just do that as long as possible. So to me, what's important is click through rate, getting people to click on your video, and then average view duration, average view percentage, or just relative retention, and you know, having them watch it. If people are clicking your video more than they click other videos and they're watching it longer than they watch other videos, you know, I just, as simplistic as that is, that's like what YouTube wants. And I think that's how you just, you know, be successful. So to help you create videos that YouTube is gonna to wanna to promote on the platform so you can grow your channel, let's talk about what YouTube cares about. There's two primary things that they care about. The first thing that they care about is the click-through rate. So if they show your thumbnail and your title on someone's screen, they want people to click on it. If no one clicks on it because you just used like the three pre-established thumbnails and you didn't write a great title, no one clicks on it, YouTube is not gonna promote that video. It's essentially wasted real estate in terms of how they're thinking. They're using up your screen, that real estate, and they want to ensure 
that that viewer clicks on another video. They can show them more ads. YouTube makes more money. If you monetize your channel, you get to share that, but they care about people clicking on videos if it's on someone's screen. There's essentially four things that people are gonna take into consideration if they wanna click on your video or not. The first of which is the topic. If they don't care about the topic, nothing else matters, they're not gonna click on it. The second thing they're gonna care about is the channel. So if you have watched videos previously on a channel, you like all of them, you watch them completely, you leave comments, YouTube is gonna to wanna to put those videos on screen because you like that creator's content. There's a good chance you're gonna click on every video they put out. Then the next two things that they care about are the thumbnail and the title. So the thumbnail is probably the most important thing you should be spending a half hour, hour, or more thinking about and creating the thumbnail. There's quite a few creators that even create the thumbnail of the video before the video itself. So they think about what is it that's going to catch someone's attention and click on, and if I can't create that, that will catch someone's attention, then the video isn't even worth creating. So spend time thinking about how I can create a great thumbnail. So don't use a ton of words, something that creates curiosity, something that's understandable very, very quickly. People wanna make really quick decisions. So they see a face that's scared or upset or happy. They're happy because they want a million dollars, whatever it is, but the idea of the video is understood really, really quickly by the thumbnail. Then when someone sees the thumbnail, it catches their attention. They're thinking about clicking on it. They're gonna read the title of the video. So here you wanna keep it short. You want to put the more important words that you want someone to see towards the beginning. If it's something that uses, if you use words that are emotional, like the best, the worst, amazing, whatever you can think of that kind of adds emotion to the text to do that. If there's numbers, so there's the 12 tips, so there's this, this video is the five steps also make it shorter. So I think you have around 50 characters where after that it's gonna be cut off. So don't put the most important word at the point where it can be cut off. Make sure that's the beginning and keep your title short. So someone sees the thumbnail, knows what it's about, reads a quick title, and they're like, yes, I wanna watch this video and clicks on your video. Then the second thing YouTube cares about is called watch time. And so what percent of the video are they actually watching? So there's a couple really important things to think about here. As you start to have videos on YouTube and you look at the analytics, you'll notice that a ton of people leave in the first 30 seconds of the video. And then after that, you've kind of hooked them in to watching the content and they'll stick around longer on. So the important thing at the very, very beginning is to tell the person, hey, you're in the right place. So the thumbnail and the title that caught your attention, the video that you're gonna watch now, we're gonna talk about that. This is what, you you made the right decision, stick around and watch the video. Then you want to make sure, obviously having longer videos is great if people watch it, but don't make videos longer than they need to be because people are gonna get bored and leave. So our videos in general are from five minutes to over a half hour, depending on the topic. So some of our video editing tutorials are really, really long. Some of our tips videos, fairly short. So see what other videos on the topic, how long are they, and come up with your own take on it. And if you can maybe be 30 seconds or a minute shorter than some of the other top videos in search results. One bonus tip to step five is if you have time, add shorts into the mix. So the thing is with YouTube shorts is they take less time to create. So they could be 15 seconds, 45 seconds. They need to be less than a minute and vertical. We have a tutorial to walk you through how to create a YouTube short. But the thing is with YouTube shorts, they're created to be shown to new people. So people are swiping like they would with TikTok or um, TikTok or Instagram Reels. And so you could have zero subscribers, zero views on your channel, and have a YouTube short, have a thousand, 10,000, a million views. So a good way to potentially get a lot of subscribers in a short amount of time is create a handful of YouTube shorts. The normal YouTube videos are still really important. That's where the watch time is gonna come from to later be able to monetize your channel. But YouTube shorts can be a great way to quickly get a lot of views and potentially a lot of subscribers for content that's fairly easy and quick to make. So those are the five steps to getting your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. The next two things I wanna help you with are one, coming up with ideas for your videos that will get views. Check out that in a video up above and creating your YouTube banner. It's a little bit complicated, but I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to do it in this video right here. Hope to see you in those and in future videos. Bye-bye.